big security breaches at Mineta San Jose Airport. Now the woman who runs the airport is refusing to answer her boss's questions. KPX 5's Len Ramirez with why she says she doesn't have a choice. The two security breaches involving stowaways who walked off the streets and onto airplanes at Mineta San Jose International Airport grabbed headlines over the past five months. But in the post 9-11 era, there have been other breaches that were kept secret. As an elected official, I would like to know what's going on. That doesn't sit well with City Council Member Pete Constant, who is frustrated that San Jose's airport director, a city employee, has been ordered into silence when it comes to other breaches by the Transportation Security Administration. If there are issues that we need to fix, we need to be aware of what they are. We know that in April, a despondent teenager stowed away to Hawaii after jumping an airport fence and climbing into an airplane's wheel well, and that in August, a woman sidestepped security screeners to get on a plane to Los Angeles, and even when that started, story was out, the airport tried to downplay what happened. This was not a security breach. She was screened. The airport has since pulled back from that kind of statement. The TSA says publicly releasing details of previous incidents would be detrimental to airport security. Constant is now asking for private briefings for the city council. There has to be a balancing act between what you keep private for pre reasons of safety and what you disclose for reasons of safety. Top airport officials say they would like to share more information with the city council in private closed door sessions, but the final decision is not up to them. And today the TSA refused to say one way or the other if it would allow that to happen. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5. The San Jose City Council has weekly closed door sessions where private security briefings take place.